today we have with us uh, Dr. Eddie Chan Senghan. Uh, he's, uh, he's an old friend of mine. He's a consultant pediatrician. Uh, he has his own practice in uh, uh, Bandar Putri Puchong, uh, a child clinic there. Uh, he is also the uh, nutritional and lifestyle medicine physician, as well as coordinator of the Zuchi Medical Association. Um, he spend, spends most of most of his time now promoting healthy living, healthy eating, as well as uh, medical charity. Okay, as 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 we might have known, as you might have known that um, during the past uh, two years, it has been a struggle for all of us, you know, globally. So COVID pandemic, COVID-19 came into the picture and it wiped off, uh, you know, millions of people, you know, and and some statistics have shown that, uh, you know, most of the people who, who passed away uh, due to COVID are having underlying chronic diseases. You know? so, so today, uh, Dr. Eddie would, would share his knowledge and his experiences in how to manage, you know, managing chronic diseases in the pandemic. So I leave the floor to you, Dr. Eddie. Welcome. Hello. Uh, thank you, Dr. Hassan, for a uh, good introduction. <laughs> uh, yes, we have uh, been friends for years. Huh? And uh, and ladies and gentlemen, how are you? Okay. So uh, with no time anymore, I just share my slide first. Mm, okay. Have you seen my slide? Yes. Yes, we can see. Okay. Yep. yep. Uh, today we are talking about a certain type of uh, uh, risk factors uh, in the pandemic. So we all know that during COVID-19, okay, and then even a study done, uh, if they want this before the COVID vaccine, 89% uh, of the COVID death reported to have at least one of these risk factors, like especially hyperpressure, diabetes, heart disease, kidney disease, high cholesterol, lung disease, you know, all kinds of chronic problems uh, is related to increase the death rate in uh, COVID-19. And for those countries, we, are, we, we always clear ourselves, we, in Malaysia, is a heaven for delicious food. No? Okay, all kind of delicious food is available. No? Of course, at the, same price, at the same time, we need to pay for a price. What's the price? About 50% of the Malaysian is overweight. You know that. 40% of the Malaysians have high cholesterol, 30% hypertension, and about 20% has diabetes. Okay. So, all, all these risk factors is exactly the same risk factor for COVID-19. Okay. So we all know that, know that all these are called lifestyle diseases. Uh, lifestyle disease, all related to the lifestyle, you know, the type of lifestyle we are going through. Okay. So let me ask one question. What is the first line of treatment for the lifestyle diseases? What do you do when you diagnose with hypertension, uh, high cholesterol, or even diabetes? What is the first line of treatment? Okay. Uh, pop in some medicine. Okay. Yes, medicine is good to control some of the disease. Okay. Or you go for uh, food, food first or diet changes. Okay. Which is the first line? Okay. But of course, we know that first line of treatment for lifestyle diseases is always lifestyle modification because this is the cause for all these lifestyle illnesses. Okay, there's many type of lifestyle modification. Okay. Uh, but when we talk about lifestyle modification, how much do we know about lifestyle modification? Okay. Uh, even we learn in the medical school, you know, uh, we know uh, eat less, you know, uh, less oil, less sugar, less salt, you know, don't eat too much, eat exercise, exercise, stress management. Stress management. Uh, what, what else? What else? But, but whatever this advice we are giving, okay, I think layman people also know about it. Okay, so really how much we learned, okay, and does it really work or not actually? Okay, we all know the lifestyle modification, does it really work? Can it be sustainable or not? You know, can you be use it lifestyle modification? Can we prolong the use? Can it be sustainable or not? I'll give you an example of diabetes. Diabetes actually uh, in the American Journal of Lifestyle Medicines, they mentioned about dietary intervention to treat type 2 diabetes in adult with a goal of remission. With a goal of remission. This is an expert uh, uh, consensus statement. It's endorsed by the American Co Association of Clinical Endocrinology. Okay, so the definition of remission of type 2 diabetes is if your HbA1c less than 6.5 for at least three months without surgery, without any device or without any medicine to lower the blood sugar. Okay, uh, if we can achieve that, we call remission of type 2 diabetes. Okay, is it possible? Okay. In the statement, they mentioned diet should be used as a primary intervention 
for a chief remission in many adults, okay, is related to the intensity of the intervention. Okay, how much you follow, how much the result will be better. They have screened through the multiple type of study, you know, different type of uh, research paper, you know, uh, start from randomized control trial to systematic review, you know, and which are the conclusion is that this lifestyle intervention they can produce remission of type two diabetes, similar success to the bariatric surgery. Some people have obese weight, they can't reduce weight, you know? they do a bariatric surgery and they found that those who done the surgery, they found that the diabetes is so-called in remission, no more diabetes. You know? Wonderful. Okay, And then don't exactly know the exact cause of it, but they found out that lifestyle intervention actually as the similar successful rate is similar. You know? This is similar, but without side effect, without side effect of bariatric surgery. Okay. Uh, and I, I heard that uh, there are uh, some surgeons, they start to discuss, they want to do, do use surgery to control diabetes. But how about we use lifestyle intervention? We can achieve the same result. So the conclusion in the statement is remission should be the clinical goal in type 2 diabetes treatment. That means when we treat somebody with type 2 diabetes, we're not talking about just to control diabetes, we're talking about how to do remission. Okay. So another uh, example, high cholesterol. This is one of the risk factor. We have high cholesterol popular in Malaysia. Okay, And they also have studied in the JAMA magazine. They have published it, how to use diet uh, uh, versus loras, lorastatin. It's a medicine to lower the cholesterol. They want to compare the result. And they found that diet could be as effective as statin in lowering cholesterol. Okay. So, because even in newborn baby, in newborn baby, if for those who remember our bad cholesterol level, we got LDL level, in the lab report, we always write 2.5 and below or 2.6 and below. Uh, if you look at the baby, actually it's 2.0. Okay. If you look at uh, those uh, so-called orang asli, okay, in 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 those uh, 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 in, in those forest area, they they the LDL also around the same, actually around the same. Okay. They found that for those with arteriosclerosis, if your LDL can less than 1.8, the arteriosclerosis does not progress. Okay. But I will call normal level is still 2.5. Huh? It's not less than 2. Okay. So actually the optimum level is less than 1.8 should be the optimum level. Okay. Uh, but how, how come many people do not know about it? Uh, they still think less than 2.5 is optimum. Because uh, according to another study, they have shown that total cholesterol level instead of 5.2, it should be 3.6 is the optimal level. LDL instead of 2.5, it should be 1.8 is the optimal level. Okay, this is an example of one of uh, our patients. Okay, is it cholesterol 3.3, LDL 1.31, instead of less than 2.5, less than 2 is what we're supposed to achieve. Uh, of course, there, there, there are people asking about this question because 50% of the heart attack, they have a normal cholesterol level. And then there's one a cardiology journal that they, they, they mentioned that why not we reduce the cholesterol level to 3.6 or to below 2, LDL below 2. Uh, the statement they mentioned that if we reduce the reference range to less than 2, okay, they worry the public members will get frustrated and give up. That means you can imagine if we can less than 2.5, already 40% of the Malaysia population is high cholesterol. If less than 2, I think well, maybe 70, 80% of the Malaysian are high cholesterol. Okay. So in terms of coronary artery disease, I mean those uh, uh, heart blood vessels get blocked. Uh, we all know that this is a leading cause of death in Malaysia. 50% 50 50 die per day because of the cardiovascular diseases. Okay. And in uh, Lancet magazine and also JAMA magazine also mentioned how they use intensive lifestyle changes for the reversal of the coronary heart disease. Uh, they did a study. They found that at five years old, uh, five years later, an uh, experimental group, that means the group uh, of uh, patients, they just use intensive lifestyle intervention without taking any medicine to lower the cholesterol, okay, versus a control group. They mean the control group, they're still taking the cholesterol medication, but they didn't go for any specific lifestyle intervention. They found that five years later, okay, five years later, okay, uh, actually your, your blocking is reverse, minus 7.9%. However, if you're taking the lipid lowering medication, your heart block, the blood vessel block is still progress more than 27.7%. So the difference is 36%. Okay. So 
again uh, and then do another uh, and did another study and, and did then uh, this is five years they did another study 86 82% of the group who have a lifestyle intervention actually they found that the the stenosis they mean the heart block is getting lesser getting lesser and this is those response that means the more you follow the lifestyle intervention the better the effect it is okay. so they also uh, uh, from american journal of cardiology they also publish a paper uh, uh, cardiologists have 12 years experience do reversal therapy for coronary artery disease you can see that uh, some of the heart blood vessels get thing blocked and after five years later okay on a proper diet intervention you see the block is reversed. This is another case. Okay, in the 32 months of taking a diet, you can see the blood vessel is become uh, unblocked again without any surgery. This is this 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 uh, firm is come from a cardiologist who, not cardiologist, a, a surgeon, a general surgeon who have a heart attack, and because of the blocking is is a too lower part of the heart blood vessel, they cannot do a stand, so no choice. They go for a uh, lifestyle intervention and then. Uh, and then 32 months later, that means roughly one year plus later, the blood vessel um, uh, start to unblock. So just now I mentioned all kinds of research paper, you know, diabetes, uh, uh, heart disease, uh, all this, they're getting better with uh, lifestyle intervention. Actually, what type of diet actually are they using? What type of diet are they using? They're all using the same kind of diet we call whole food plant-based diet. Then you say, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. Whole food probably look, look like vegetarian. Okay, I've seen many vegetarians have heart attack, some have stroke, <laughs> some have diabetes or so. Okay, then what do you mean, mean by whole plant based diet can help to reverse all this chronic uh, problem? Because uh, look at the word carefully, the word we call whole food and plant based. Okay. Plant based diet means all food are plant, okay, plant without using animal protein. No, no meat, no milk, no eggs, no all plant. Okay, but one word very important is called whole food. Whole food means original form. Okay? It's not a highly processed food. Original form means you see a carrot is a carrot. Okay, you get a pumpkin is a pumpkin. Okay, uh, so we call whole food because whole food called high fiber. Fiber is very very important in the treatment. Okay, uh, what what food without fiber? I get example. Uh, meat without fiber, milk without fiber, eggs without fiber, oil without fiber, sugar without fiber, salt without fiber, and white flour, all the white flour. Whole grain, weak fiber, but when they turn to flour, we got white flour, there's no more fiber. Fiber is removed out. So we have take lots of food, okay, with uh, high animal protein high animal products or even food with lots of flour okay or the cake la, uh, uh, cake la, no? or the white bread la, all this all this we don't call it whole food because the fiber already being removed so this is called processed food so once the fiber removed or the food without fiber we will end up with all this health chronic condition uh, all this uh, uh, chronic illnesses so i repeat animal products egg milk, uh, white flour, okay, oil, sugar, salt, okay, all this without fiber. So there's a reason we call whole food and plant-based. Okay. So, so there's, uh, in the study, they use a whole food plant-based, okay, uh, systemic review and meta analysis to control blood pressure. And they found out that uh, this plant-based diet associated with significant reduction in the blood pressure compared to the omnivorous diet. Omnivorous diet means the diet with some of the veggie with meat mixed together, we call omnivorous diet. And plant-based diet help those with type 2 diabetes lose weight, lower cholesterol and improve um, blood uh, glucose control. And also reduce the heart disease risk by 40 over percent. But one question come, but one question come. Is it a sustainable lifestyle and diet intervention? Sustainable or not? Okay. So there are many studies conducted throughout the whole world. This is the study done in Philippines. They call it Complete Health Improvement Programs. Okay. This is also the same thing, Complete Health Improvement Program. Uh, in Canada, okay, they used to reduce the chronic disease risk. Okay. And they found out that uh, those who gone through this program, okay, understand it, they're able to maintain the improvement for most of the parameter for more than three years. That means 
they are still continuing this our lifestyle. So diet modification is effective at the same time it is sustainable. Okay, just like exercise. If we, if we worry about diet not sustainable, how about exercise? Is exercise sustainable? Yes, some people can do exercise, some people cannot. But we all know that exercise is helpful and useful, okay, evidence-based. Okay. So as a doctor, do we advise a patient to go for exercise if they can do it? Yes, but how the patient can't follow? Whether yes or no, we still suggest and recommend exercise. Same as diet. Not everybody may able to continue the same diet, but we know that this is evidence proof, evidence based, proven. Okay, it's useful. We still should be as a responsibility of the healthcare profession to continue to to advocate or recommend plant based diet or even exercise to our patient. Okay, because some of the patients may able to follow you. Okay, so because of this, there's a lifestyle medicine uh, association is developed every part of the world. They start to develop. Okay, uh, there are multiple conditions that can uh, lifestyle intervention can help. Okay, but we all know that ch there's a challenges. What challenges we have? First, some people say I I don't know how to cook plant based diet. Okay, and some people say no time to cook. I always eat outside. I'm working. No. What to do? Okay. Because of this, okay, uh, we have set up a team to help to help how to help. We set up a food nutrition and quality control team. We approach the restaurant, we teach the restaurant, okay, to follow our method of cooking uh, plant-based diet. Okay, we assess all the recipe and menu, okay, and monitor the quality, you know, and the nutrition. After that, then uh, this is the uh, the food that cooked by the restaurant. Okay, so we launched a program called Healthier Me 21 Day Challenge. So what is this uh, program about? This program actually is just to eat 21 days of whole food plant based diet. Okay, you have two options. You can order the food from the restaurant that we have taught. Okay? We teach the restaurant what to do. Then multiple restaurant uh, in the whole Malaysia able to do it. You can order from them directly or you can do self cooking in these 21 days. Then we will teach you how to do self cooking in these 21 days. Okay. And second, you can do a blood test before and after the food. Okay. Before the test, do, do before the uh, uh, plant-based diet, take the blood test and day 14 to day 19. And only 21 days, day 14 to day 19, you can do a blood test again. Okay, And this is a food, example of food uh, provided by the restaurant. Okay, More Colorful you know, and delicious also. You know? uh, don't think uh, they're bland, no taste. No. They are also delicious as well. Okay. Of course, the taste is a bit different from uh, our normal diet, okay, but it's palatable, it's acceptable. Okay. And how about self-cooking? For those who, who wish to self-cooking for this 21 days challenge, we will support you with all the resources. What resources we have? We have physical class for you uh, to attend, you know, to learn how to kickstart. Uh, whole food plant-based diet and you know the concept of how to do it at home yourself okay we have online learning you know we have uh, all kind of video for you you know so you can learn the cooking yourself in in online you know? that is an example <laughs> Not only this, there's multiple videos, there's another video is available also teaching people how to do the whole food plant-based diet. Uh, and we have more than 100 over recipe all certified by our nutritionists to be whole food plant-based, I mean w, WFPB diet. Uh, okay. All the recipe we give you all free. Okay, so you can learn all kinds of recipes. So there's, if you are able to cook at home, there's no excuses why you cannot cook whole food plant-based diet. Uh, okay, so we once you're registered, Okay, we want to self cope. We also we put you into a support group in the support group. Okay, so you can try to post your cooking dishes to us every day. No problem. No, uh, we have nutrition dietitian inside. You know, we can give some, some comment. Okay, but I can guarantee you, if you cook yourself after 21 days, you can cook better than the restaurant chef. Believe me, because why? Tell you frankly, many restaurants they don't even know how to cook whole plant based diet, even vegetarian restaurants. We teach them how to do it, okay? First and second, why you can cook better than the restaurant chef? Because you can have your own taste preference, what type of ingredient you want, as long as 
you you use the same criteria, okay, uh, to cook the whole food plant based diet, you will cook better than the restaurant chef. Right? Uh, and this is an example of some of the food, uh, some of uh, the participant they post it uh, to the group. You know? uh, okay, well, look, not not bad. You know? And after twenty one days, you can see some of them. Oh, this is all cooked by participant. You see. Uh, I, I I think it's better than restaurants sometimes, okay? Because restaurants sometimes the variety cannot be so many different, okay? So different compared to the participant, okay? So you can cook the whole food plant based diet of your own choice, okay? So this twenty one days of motivation, what we do is we give all the healthy diet information, nutrition information. We also teach you how to do breakfast and afternoon tea because for those who order from restaurant, usually restaurant will deliver uh, lunch and dinner to their home to the institute, to your university or to your office. Okay, so breakfast and afternoon tea will teach you how to do it yourself. Okay, of course you can all ask all kinds of questions. We encourage each other. We will even have a weekend online gathering you know, to solve some of the doubt. Okay, so on day 14 and day 19, oh, you can start taking blood tests already. You only take for 21 days. 14 days is enough already. So it starts from a place called Sedang in Malaysia, a small area from Sedang. It's the first place where we start okay, for the past two years. Okay. Now it's spread to various country and regions. Okay, have so far have more than ten thousand people already participated. Uh, this ten thousand people is is uh, a deliver uh, order from the restaurant. Okay, but we just starting this round. This round we're starting the self cook uh, self cook uh, option available for you. So participant background from children to elderly, from those healthy for those who are ill. Okay, for lemon people. To healthcare professional, the pharmacist, doctor also become participant. Okay, okay, and and twenty one days later, uh, this case, uh, this is a, a, a lady, uh, Mrs. Chan. Okay, his blood pressure one fifty ninety on medication, and after twenty one days later, dropped to one one two seventy two. Okay, so in top of blood pressure, of we have pre hypertension and hypertension, we have, we have one thousand eight hundred over people who are, who are taking the blood test. Pre and post, okay, and do a checkup pre and post, okay. We found that uh, for those who have hypertension, if you have hypertension, okay, the eighty-two percent chance you can see improvement in twenty-one days. If you have hypertension, your sixty-two percent of the participant actually blood pressure back to normal, back to normal level. And this is also Mrs. Chan, okay. Uh, she have a, a diabetes on diabetic medication, okay, not really well controlled. And after 21 days later, the blood sugar, fasting blood sugar had dropped to 4.8. Okay. And if you have a diabetes, okay, our study shown that 97% uh, of the people with diabetes, uh, they will show improvement in 21 days. And 77% of the participant who joined this program uh, show the blood sugar uh, drop to a satisfactory level of less than seven. That's a seven. So this in a case, Mr. Chan, okay, he have taken 13 years of uh, medication for high cholesterol. Okay, uh, normal is about 5.2 is seven, uh, not able to control and drop to three in 21 days. He have coronary artery disease, high cholesterol problem, high triglyceride, overweight, etc. And uh, taking four medications, and after a few months later. Okay, a few months later on this diet and his cardiologist on follow up finally one by one stop. So stop the medication and now stop already stop three medication left only one medication. Okay, so uh, if you're over it, okay, roughly our average weight will drop about two to three kg. Okay, you have high cholesterol, 98% chance you will see improvement in 21 days and near 80% of them will back to normal cholesterol level in 21 days. Okay, so even same thing, triglyceride level. This is before and after. This is about uh, two to three weeks gap. You can see the the blood after the spin. You can see the because serum. Huh? You can see the blood is very cloudy before. This is all the oily stuff in the blood. Okay, for those who have high uh, triglyceride level, you know. Uh, after that, you can see so clear. Same patient in fourteen to twenty one days. Okay, so nine eighty nine percent improved and sixty percent with back to the normal level. Okay, you have a high triglyceride. Okay. And and this participant dropped six point five kg. Well, this is a bit more lah. Now we're average about three kg lah. Some people uh, this six point five kg. Okay. And I just want to show you a, a a sharing by one of the Malay couple. Okay, about his journey of the whole food plant based diet. Okay. The father is uh, the 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 husband is IT guy. The mother is a wet doctor in uh, last time UPM. Okay. 
Hi, my name is Faisal and I have an IT background and um, I'm here together with my wife, Aina. I'm Aina. I am trained as a veterinarian, uh, but now I'm actually a stay-at-home mom with three children. And when we had our first child, I allowed him to actually eat what other people were eating because I was not sure of the nutritional aspect. At about three to four years old, we saw that he was already having all sorts of health issues. He had eczema, he had um, respiratory issues. And in that year, we were in and out of the hospital like once every month. And that's when we decided uh, to learn about health and wellness uh, properly to when we went whole foods plant-based. Basically, we have not had to go to the hospital for the past few years, um, except when he fell and he needed uh, stitches. Every child is different and um, each child will have the different genes uh, as well. But if we were to compare him and the other two siblings, um, he was the one who had all these issues, uh, but the other two siblings have not had any um, respiratory or skin condition. We stayed with my father, although we ate all the plant-based foods, but he continued on eating his own foods. In 2019, he had a massive stroke. It blocked um, half of his right he uh, hemisphere of the brain. What he had, the stroke, was definitely due to his uncontrolled diabetes because he didn't want to do anything about it. The doctor already put him on four times insulin jabs per day and he was on medication twice per day. He, we put him on a whole foods plant-based diet, minimal um, sugar, oil and salt, 15.9 uh, when he started um, HbA1c, two months after being on whole food plant-based diet, the doctors could remove his insulin all. And the doctor said, okay, let's just continue with his tablet medication. And within six months, they took him off all diabetic medication because his HbA1c already went down to about five to six. And now it has been three years since he has been on whole food plant-based and his HbA1c has been about five. To all those out there, because we know that a lot of people are suffering, but they do not have a solution and an answer. And we know and we truly believe that this can be a way for everyone to achieve better health overall. And not only that, they also contributing back to the environment and to the planet uh, and for the future generations as well. Uh, of course, uh, initially there are a lot of healthcare professionals, uh, they are skeptical about it, you know, is it really helpful or not? No? I, I quote what Dr. Lim Legends, uh, a gynecologist, she herself looked at the pre and post tests of all the different participants. You know, this is what she said, I've been practicing medicine for 20 years and this is the first time that I've ever witnessed the great improvement in 21 days. Not just one parameter, but all the parameters. Okay. Uh, but actually this um, among plant-based com diet community, this is nothing special because as mentioned, a plant-based diet improves blood sugar, body weight, blood pressure and cholesterol all at the same time, all at the same time. Something no drug can do. Okay. Uh, Dr. Wong Tak Wee is a cardiologist in the IQ Medical Center. He said, I was skeptical on the effect of the plant-based diet program until I look at the blood test results and I'm convinced now. And he's now actively promoting plant-based diet to all his uh, cardiac patients, okay, uh, to help them to improve their conditions. Okay. So, of course, there are many doctors have joined this program, you know, some geriatricians, pathologists, you know, uh, radiologists, different. Uh, and there's one, uh, Prof. Soik, and he's an orthopedic surgeon in UMMC. Okay. And he himself uh, recently, has, uh, I think two weeks ago, he have uh, give a sharing about his journal okay, or his experience uh, about this diet on his health condition. Uh, I'm, I'm lucky to be able to record some of his uh, uh, sharing and I want to show, uh, share with you. Uh, this is uh, Prof. Soik, in, I think two weeks ago in the early September sharing. I have been having high blood cholesterol for many years, close to 20 years. Now, we tried a few types of medications, not able to change it significantly. So after a few years, a thought comes in, then there is such thing called genetic. Yeah, genetic run in a family. And it's easy to blame genetic because you cannot do anything about it. You're born with it. So it goes on 
quietly for many years until January of 2020 when uh, COVID is starting to develop. One morning, I developed chest pain here on the this side. So went to the casualty, check and see, and then it was an uh, angiogram showed a single vessel block and it's quite significant block contributed to this pain. So stenting was done and the symptoms never developed so far. But then I have a second thought about this cholesterol thing. I do definitely have a block now. So at that time, 2020 onwards, so with the cardiologist, I started anti-cholesterol seriously again. And uh, I also tried to modify the diet, take a low protein, that means a low meat diet, plus this anti-cholesterol. So over that one year, 2020, managed to bring the, okay, we look at the parameter, the LDL, huh? so bring it down to just below two which is uh, 1.8, yeah, below 2, within the normal limit of uh, healthy individuals. But the cardiologist told me for a normal person, probably is good. But when you already have atherosclerosis, the target should be even lower. You should get about 1.5. But for 12 months I tried, we're not able to get below that. So January 2021, before Chinese New Year, we were seriously talking about more serious form of treatment for cholesterol, including injectable form after the Chinese New Year. Now, at that time, this Dr. Eddie tell me, hey, we are starting trying this 21-day veggie diet, the trial. Want to join or not? I said, no harm. Huh? Because after that Chinese New Year, yeah, we can have revenge, reunion. Huh? Can eat. Okay, 21 days, just take it, sign up. And we have a pre-test, blood test, and then after. So this is a whole food plant-based diet. Okay, I take it. It actually uh, prepared lunch and dinner for us. Breakfast, we arrange on our own, but there is strict guidelines. Again, it is basically a plant-based diet. So the second test was taken not three weeks. In fact, after two weeks, only day 14, take a blood test. So as usual, the one pre-op, it is about below 1.8, 1.9 LDL. But after that, my target 1.5 and the blood test I got is 0 0.9. I never had this level before in my life. So that changed the myth about gene. Eh? And genetic is easy for us to blame. So I've been actually after that, Chinese New Year revenge, put it aside. We have been... In fact, Chinese New Year re reunion year is always a revenge, right? Once a year. Right? So we have been doing it for the close to uh, 50 over years. So now it's time to change. It's for our health. So from there onwards, it is not difficult. I just directly convert into a vegetarian diet until now. It's already near to two years. For medicine, we always talk about, we think about evidence. Yeah, everything we talk about evidence. So association between atherosclerosis and uh, cholesterol level and the diet, there are many evidence there. But it's easy for us to sometimes select the evidence we want to hear. Yeah? One thing is genetic. Like, it is gene that means you cannot do anything about it. But sometimes when you have this evidence in front of you, pre, post, you see, it is for you. So I know that it is my fault, it's the diet that I take, not the gene. So it is not a problem anymore. So maybe you all may want to consider this as well. Just take and see, see for your body, whether the diet do make a difference or not, whether it can make you, your blood level of cholesterol lower or not. That I think is a one thing you can try for yourself. Yeah. So that's what I want to share with you all. Thank you. Okay, so so plant based diet actually not only help for in in your know, our physical health. Actually, in environment is very important. Okay, so uh, if you talk about carbon footprint, okay, it will compare to different type of diet. You know that vegetarian or even vegan diet have a lowest uh, carbon footprint compared to the rest of the diets. Okay, uh, so we calculated uh, about 10,000 people already participated. Okay, it's already safe. Okay, safe uh, of nine. Okay, uh, this one called nine 
90 million okay, liter of water. Okay, and then it's equivalent to about 1.2 million people uh, during the water in a year. Okay, we also help to reduce uh, carbon uh, dioxide emissions. Okay, about 1 million kg of carbon dioxide emission is being uh, reduced. This equivalent to planting about 165,000 trees. Okay, so so that's why uh, whatever we oh, eat uh, actually not only help for our physical, uh, actually help for our environment as well. Okay, okay. so uh, EMJ Journal also did a study recently, uh, uh, only two years ago, also come out on the journey. Okay, they found that plant-based diet actually can reduce somebody get moderate to severe COVID-19 by 73%, lower chance to get serious COVID-19. So for those who are taking low carbo, high protein diet, uh, this is always say be careful when somebody want to take low carbo. We also we always heard about low carbo is good. For those who take low carbo, high protein diet, means something like meat, actually you have three point eight six times greater chance uh, to get a serious COVID nineteen. Okay, if you're taking a low carb or a high protein diet. So we always say that we want to live with COVID nineteen together, not become an endemic. No? But how do we live with COVID nineteen together? We have all kinds of chronic illnesses. Okay? So, of course, vaccine is very important. But for those who have chronic diseases, it's good to do prevention, control, or sometimes even reverse some of the chronic illnesses to reduce your risk factor. You want to live with COVID-19. Plus, if you get COVID-19 infection, we also try to reduce the risk of getting serious COVID-19. Besides medications and uh, vaccination, food is important to reduce risk of getting serious COVID-19. So look back at everything. We know that one day we all will get aging. Okay? But how we spend our last 10 years is very important. Okay? I would like to show you a video about a comparison that you can have a self-reflection about what should we do in our life, especially how we spend our last 10 years. What will your last 10 years look like? Will you be quick enough for a game of tag with your grandchild? Strong enough to embrace every moment? Will you grow old with vitality? Or get old with disease? It's time to decide. The average Canadian will spend their last 10 years in sickness. Change your future at makehealthlast.ca. So at the end, we always have a call for actions. What's the call for actions? If anybody interested in this program, actually you can implement this program in any institution, in your hospital, your institution, we can support you with all the program, with all the information, you can implement the program inside your institution. Plus, for whoever interested to join the program, okay, or experience yourself, welcome to join, okay. In next special 13th of October, we will start to deliver the food from the restaurant, and we also, uh, for those who order from restaurant, for those who choose option to self-cooking for 21 days, we also will start to teach you how to do self-cooking in 10, 21 days, start from 13th of October. So you can join as a participant or you can even bring the whole program back to your institution to benefit all your colleagues. Okay. So we know that whole food plant-based diet could save approximately 1 trillion per year in healthcare and cut food-related emissions by 70% according to the study. And People even say that could plant-based treatment is the future of our healthcare. Okay, we deal all kind of new medications through the years with the uh, advancement in technology, but our prevalence of diabetes, hypertension, cholesterol is still getting higher and higher every year, and also lead to lead to higher and higher more uh, Alzheimer's disease, cancer, kidney disease, you know, all kind of things is getting more and more worse and worse despite having a new medication. So what is our future of healthcare? Okay, are we doing a healthcare industry or going a sick care industry? So could plant-based treatments is the future of healthcare? 
to think about it. OK, so whoever are interested, OK, you can contact me personally or you can also scan the QR code to register in the form and tell the option whether you want to self cooking or you want to order from restaurant up to you. OK, we issue all of you. OK, from now onwards, we are going to the path together towards a journey to get a, a healthy living and healthy eating and have a better lifestyle and better quality of life in the future. OK, with this, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Eddie. That was uh, very informative and uh, the data is something that I have been looking for. Thank you for sharing. You know, I would, I would, uh, this, this gives, um, just, just to share with everyone and the ones who have joined um, later, you know, uh, during the session. Um, our aim at the University of Cyberjaya is to have a, a monthly, uh, you know, activity such as talk, seminar, webinar, conference, workshop on uh, sustainable development goals. There are 17 sustainable development goals. And uh, today's topic, this topic of uh, managing chronic diseases in the pandemic, you know, uh, specifically uh, deals with SDG number three, which is good health and well-being, uh, targeted into non-communicable diseases, as well as, you know, uh, SDG 12, which is responsible consumption and production. SDG 13, climate action because of uh, reduced carbon emission. SDG 14, which is life below water. We, you know, we let the fishes live by themselves, you know, and, and stop harassing them too much, you know, and of course, uh, SDG number 15, life on land. So by changing our own lifestyle, there are many things that we are able to do, you know, you know while we repair ourselves, we also be kind to our planet, you know, be, be good to earth, you know, so this is this is a great program, you know, uh, and, and I hope, you know, some of us, or most of us can join, you know, uh, the Zuchi Foundation and, and uh, support uh, the, the sustainable uh, development goals. So, uh, so far, I have not seen any uh, messages in the chat. Uh, so anyone, it's open to the floor. Anyone, would you like to ask a question but before that uh dr eddie i have one question that i would like to ask you yes you know okay uh studies have shown that uh you know people who who change uh their diet you know from from you know omnivorous diet to to vegan you know for example uh they tend to have a reduced amount of b20 b12 you know vitamin yep. b12 in their circulation so mm. this may lead to vitamin b12 deficiency so uh how true is that and how do we address it you know, that's okay something. there are two types of vitamins two types of vitamins it is related to our lifestyle changes lifestyle changes huh? one vitamin with your lifestyle changes is vitamin d because we get vitamin d from sunlight and with our lifestyle changes, we all stay inside the building. We have lack of vitamin D. And vitamin D is 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 normally is, is deficient in the food we eat. So for those who have no sunlight, we need to do vitamin D supplement. Okay, agree? Everybody agree? This one. Another vitamin related to lifestyle is vitamin B12. Vitamin B12 is produced by bacteria. So Last time, our lifestyle, we do not have B12 deficiency because all the soil with bacteria with B12, all the river water with B12, <laughs> all the feces you know, for the animal, for our feces, all full of B12. And we are staying in the environment, we contact with all kinds of animals, soil, river water, we get enough B12. So as our lifestyle changes, we become more and more hygienic, more and more hygienic. OK, then we let our B12 because we do have contact with those bacteria. Who can still in contact with bacteria is all the cow or the chicken uh, or the lamb you know, or the other gambling. You know, they contact with the bacteria by eating all the soy with the B12. You know. That's how they get B12. So the B12 sources actually is not from the meat. It's from the bacteria in the ground. They just consume the B12 and we eat their meat. However, plant, plant, Okay, plant by right by contamination, there's B12, but we wash it very clean before we eat the plant, right? We have to because it's hygienic. Okay? We don't expect everybody to eat Najis, right? No, okay. Uh, so 
these lifestyle changes become more and more hygienic, we need to take B12. This is the reason why, because we have become more hygienic, no choice, we need to take B12. But fortunately, B12 is a very cheap vitamin, <laughs> very, very cheap. You can buy any B12, the lower the dose, you just buy, okay? you need about four micrograms, very low. But outside, they, they already sell about 200 micrograms to four, 500 micrograms. You need about 20, or five to 20 micrograms per day only. Okay, So just go to take the B12 uh, uh, supplement for those who are vegan or even plant-based diet. But there are still studies now shown that whether you're omnivorous or also vegan, for those who are over 50 years old, they also need to supplement with B12. Even if omnivorous, because of our stomach problem, our digestion problem. Okay. Okay. So uh, now you look at the outside population, many people actually have a B12 deficiency, especially with those of Alzheimer's or dementia, they have some B12 deficiency, and then they are also taking omnivorous meats. Now they are not taking vegetarian. But as Dr. Hassan mentioned, yes, if you are vegetarian or vegan, okay, we advise you to take a B12 uh, supplement, okay, or now, of course, now a lot of beverage, you know, all the soy powder, all the beverage, all the cereal, you know, uh, already fortified with B12 inside. So this is not an issue at all, okay, but if you are not taking, you're not taking all this uh, fortified food with B12, Take a PDL tablets. It's more, uh, it's good than uh, more than enough. Whether you're vegetarian or even vegan, or even now we over, over also advise for those who are near fifty years old and above, take B12. Even you're taking meat. Thank you, and I like the statement. You know, is is it healthcare or sick care? <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's quite catchy. <laughs> so <laughs> so uh, anyone, you know, uh, feel free to ask questions. You know, so we, uh, we have a few more minutes, uh, you know, so it uh, would be, uh, yes. Dr. Andy here would be happy to accept any questions, you know. He uh, how can, so how can, how get industry actually is not a popular industrial because uh, uh, let me ask the audience, uh, maybe you all can think of yourself uh, answer, you don't need to speak the answer out. If everybody is healthy, you know, we, we are living in the world with a commercial world, okay, when people, everybody fight for progress in terms of economic, you know, earn more money, etc, etc. If everybody is healthy, what do you think, which industry will benefit from it? You think and see which industry will benefit from it if you eat healthy. I would say agriculture. <laughs> <laughs> uh, agriculture uh, is an uh, industry, yes. Uh, but now they have studied, they've shown that agriculture, their profit margin is one of the lowest among the food. Mm. Uh, and agriculture are not being subsidized by government. That's why you when you see the when the talk inflation come, you can see all the or plant food, the prices increase. Okay, but we subsidize processed food. For example, oil, keep it. What level? What price level? Sugar, what price level? Need to keep it. Yeah. We subsidize sugar and oil. Okay. So that's the reason why when sugar and oil is cheap, then the processed food we eat all type of processed food lah. You can think of lah, all the packaging things lah, Then we become very cheap. So 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 to to overturn the the whole things uh, not only we individually need to do something. I think in the policy maker need to do something as well. Okay. We tend to use in the world, we live in the world that calorie is very important. That's why we subsidize calorie. That means you take high calorie food with cheaper price, you no know, the oil and sugar, high calorie. You take high calorie with lower price, okay? Because we need to reserve calorie for those poor people. Okay? But as our world become more and more progress, a lack of calorie is not an issue for most people. Unless you are in hunger, all right. Most of us, we are over calorie. We are not under calorie. So sometimes we didn't think, oh, is it a need? We still need to subsidize calorie for the public members, uh, rather than subsidize uh, uh, antioxidant and nutrient dense food. Okay, to our public members, I think that will be in the future direction. If we're talking about uh, healthcare industry. Correct. So, uh. Anyone? Dear participants, Feel all questions are welcome. Them. Don't worry. Yeah. For those I cannot answer, I'll tell you I can't answer. <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, I'm very friendly. We, very we frank. are honest people here. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> 
we know that we don't good. Yeah. yeah we don't we know that we don't have a uh, 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 perfect solution for every scenario Correct. okay uh, we only know that what is the uh, thing that we can try to do our best uh. right, yeah. mm. so even even just to share with everyone like uh, in my oh okay there's a person raised uh, yes uh, miss ong siok bang um, <clears throat> how much fruit can we have in a day how much fruit uh, can we have in a day question on fructose uh, fructose huh? okay now fructose now they found that high fructose will cause problem okay now they found a fructose related to diabetes also okay and uh, fructose can cause our fatty liver or all or, or, or this thing and fructose is mainly come from fruits fruits okay okay fruits now very important question fructose is not whole food huh? okay fruits is the whole food huh? okay so you eat fruits now they found that they, they have done study they found that when you eat fruit whole food huh? eat the whole apple whole fruits they don't cause your health problem even you have a liver problem whatever however you eat fructose uh, this is not whole food anymore it's a process uh, they need to extract the fructose out from the food and eat then you end a problem what is the food with fructose high fructose corn syrup and sometimes when we eat uh, buy uh, soya drinks from outside you see they pour something sugary things into the things before they pour soya milk inside you know, the sugary things okay and all now 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 they have a lot of uh, so-called uh, uh, make cake all the sweet stuff they pick a lot of uh, we call sugar syrup they all are high fructose okay this is they cause harm to our body but when you eat fruits whole fruit you don't cause harm so having said that also same thing we do advise you to make fruit juice to drink juice because you have high fructose overdose without knowing because if you eat one apple you feel full you take, take two apple you, your mind will tell you it's enough i don't eat anymore but you when, if you want to make apple juice you will end up problem because you eat three or four apple you can drink the whole cup of apple juice without knowing it you have high fructose or high sugar intake because all these fruit juice already remove the fiber remember to you fiber is very important whole food so uh missus don't worry about fruits Continue eat fruits, but in whole food form, okay? And don't drink fruit juice and don't drink those fructose syrup. Okay? This is not an issue at all. They've done a study, they found that if you want to have that level of fructose to cause harm to our body, you need to eat lots and lots of fruits in order to achieve that level of fructose. So this is almost impossible for normal people. So do worry about eating fruits. I haven't said that normally we, we, we uh, of course, of, you will follow the dietitian, they tell you take two parts of fruits, three parts of veggie, you know, make it easy, make it easy. Roughly the plate, in, in eating the plate, half of the plate is fruit and vegetable, and vegetable more than fruits. Half the plate is vegetable and fruit, uh, 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 vegetable more than fruit. One quarter is whole grain, whole grain, uh, okay, it's not processed food, uh, it's not a flour, whole grain. Uh, carbo sauce and another one quarter is plant protein replace the animal protein plant protein means beans nuts legumes uh, they call plant protein one quarter plant protein one quarter uh, whole grain half of the plate is fruit and vegetable where vegetable more than fruit uh, that would be enough no need to measure don't worry and no need to calculate calorie you will still get able to regain your health because all of us never calculate our calorie in our normal diet frankly speaking okay i i believe that dietitian they don't calculate calorie at home also okay carry counting only for patient okay when do when was for specific target you need to do some counting thank you thank you very clear Yes, okay, yeah. <laughs> the two people uh, in my life who speak exactly the same. One is you, Dr. Eddie, the other one is my wife. Oh. She also, her knowledge of this, you know, is so vast that, you know, sometimes when I ask her a question, she'll be like, exactly the same way that you. <laughs> and, and yeah, in my house, you know, in my house, at least three, four times a week, you know, when we have dinner, family dinner, it's vegan. Oh, is vegan food yeah and she oh. makes you know wonderful vegan food and 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 it's feeling you know and and i don't miss the meat you know and that's that and that's a great thing you know so mm -hmm. it's just the perception the mind you know when you're hungry you eat something to be you know the reason why you're eating is because you're hungry 
and then you stop because of your food. You know, whatever you eat, it doesn't matter. But you know that is the perception of the taste bud, you know, and and the the mind saying that mm. you must eat chicken to be full. You know, you must mm. eat rice to be yeah. full. You know, those kind of those concept. You know, if we can yeah. change our mindset, you know, eventually it's all the first the first uh, you know trial and the first challenge is to beat our own mind. You know, mm. so when you beat your own mind, and then things will come naturally. Yeah. Thank you. If you look at the whole plate, actually, the if, if whole plate, the only changes is about 25% of your plate. Okay. It means Correct. the animal pro plant protein replace the animal protein. Just change by 25% of your diet, actually, your life will change. I can tell you, your life will be changed. Just change by 25%. You're not changing. A, you're not doing a massive changes in the diet. Just change the 25%. For those who who claim themselves as meat lover. Okay, uh, then maybe you can try to think and see, do some experiment. Are you really a meat lover? I believe some are really meat lover. Okay, uh, uh, it's like a turtle, a turtle uh, or tortoise where you give a veggie, they eat a veggie. You give the meat, they don't eat the meat, right? Turtle, they, they smell, they know it. Uh, same with tiger, uh, they eat the meat, uh, they give veggie, they don't eat the veggie. How about human? You just, for example, you just get a, 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 a chicken uh, or beef uh, or whatever meat, uh, you boil in the hot water. After cook, you take it out, you put in the plate and serve people without adding anything at all. Majority of the people, when they smell it, they reject it. They don't like it. So what to do? Because your brain tells you this is not the food that I want. So what to do is we have advanced technology. What do you mean by advanced technology? We put a lot of chemical additive, okay, as or artificial flavoring become a sauce. Then we put a sauce on the meat. And we eat the meat. Oh, delicious! I love the meat. <laughs> I'm a meat lover. Uh, okay. They're, they're basically sauce lovers. Yes, you are right. <laughs> they're sauce lover. So, yeah. so, so in whole food plant based, whole food plant based, what we do also, we use whole food, make sauce. Okay. Uh, we don't use an artificial flavor uh, to make the put the sauce a uh, barbecue sauce. Uh, so we have uh, uh, we have all kind of recipe to do all kind of uh, 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 sauces made from whole food itself. Uh, so same thing. So we all are sauce level. You know? So so for those who are meat level, uh, ask yourself again this question again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Miss uh, Zihao, can you, uh, you raise I, your hand? Uh, yeah, I raised my hand. Hi, Dr. Okay. Hassan and Dr. Adi. Uh. I'm Zihao from Zuchi. And then uh, as I know, uh, I, I know Miss Rajni uh, joined our last batch of 21 Day Challenge. Maybe can we invite uh, Miss Rajni to share yeah. a bit about her experience? <laughs> oh, no, no wonder Dr. Rajni looks prettier now. Uh, <laughs> yes, she just share with me some, some, some yeah, remarkable yeah. changes. So that's the secret behind it. Yeah, Dr. Rajni, would you like to share with us? Yes, uh, <laughs> actually I lost weight after taking the uh, plant-based diet. Um, so I, well, uh, I lost like about four kgs. Yeah, yeah. And after taking the diet, like um, I'm more conscious about my eating habits also because you know sometimes we just ignore because there's no time. But now I'm very conscious about the choice I make. Yeah, I had to get that momentum and this. Uh, challenge has made me uh, get towards that momentum of choosing the right food. So thank you. Okay. I think we have a question in the chat box as well. Oh, really? Okay, sorry. Uh, may I then ask how about smoothies consisting of whole fruits and veggie? Uh, so I think, I think Dr. Eddie has answered that question just now. Smoothies, yeah, please. I leave it to you, uh, Dr. Eddie. Uh, uh, yes, uh, smoothie depends on how you make it. We don't advise fruit juice, okay? Uh, smoothie is a different thing. Smoothie, they, they don't remove the fiber, okay? They just take the whole food and then blend it and drink. We call it smoo uh, smoothie because they come with fiber. They come with fiber, okay? So if you want to make smoothie, I still the same, same concept. Uh, use more vegetable than fruits. Okay, normally I suggest fruit is about thirty percent, veggie is about seventy percent, uh, to make smoothie. Okay, you can do that if you want to do smoothie. Okay, I drink smoothie every day for past two years. Okay, and I do add in fruits. Okay, and blend it together. Okay, the fruits to me is just to bring in some flavor. Okay, because your hundred percent veggie is very green taste. Uh. 
Okay, uh, so so you can do that. Okay, uh, uh, as long as the veggie must be more than fruits. Yeah, my wife does a smoothie every morning, mm. and she puts celery, cucumber, so it's green mm. and a little bit purplish because she puts berries. You know, the frozen mm. berries, strawberry, mm. blueberry, and, and mm. that I think that is the the flavor that brings out. You know, so it doesn't taste bad when I had it. Yeah, it's a little bitter, but but it's all right. You know, so. Well, you are one of the luckiest guys in the world, are you? I know, that's why. why. Serve so well? I, I'm taken care of by the man in the house. If it was for me, I'll become the sauce lover. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I'm forced to. <laughs> I, I, I realized because uh, when I used to, I remember I was putting on so much of weight, I started going to the gym. After a mm. few months, I didn't lose any weight, you know. I took yeah. the protein shake, this, that, you know. And then I looked at my wife. I'm like, you don't go to gym. You don't do anything. <laughs> then why am I the one who's this big and you are that small, you know? And then she told me, you know, two things, you know. I mean, uh, which which comes to my next question. Uh, what is your take on uh, fasting? You know, because mm. that's what she does, you know. She, she changes her diet and she also pre practices uh, fasting. Mm. Okay, uh, uh, talk about exercise. Uh, uh, if there are multiple research already shown that exercise don't help to reduce weight, but it become a, a, a common statement that uh, want to reduce weight exercise. Uh, exercise help to reduce weight unless they are doing strenuous exercise. They are going moderate level of exercise. Normally, they don't help to reduce weight. Okay, okay. Uh, unless you do strenuous exercise. And, and, and that's the reason why some people try to uh, do exercise, they can't uh, reduce much weight. Actually, now they found that exercise help to maintain weight, help to maintain weight. Okay. So food is still the most important thing. Because, because for example, you just eat one burger, the burger calorie, I, I can remember, is enough for you to run a few kilometers, you know, one burger calorie. Okay. But when you eat one burger, how many kilometers can you run? <laughs> Yeah, you uh, get yeah. tired after hundred meters. Ah uh, yes, <laughs> yes, yeah, yes. So 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 our 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 body is a very efficient engine, no, very efficient engine, uh, better than our Toyota, no, no very efficient. A little bit fuel, you know, and can do a lot of work, no. That's why one burger enough for you to run few kilometer, no. You can imagine so efficient our engine. Okay, so so that's the reason why we cannot re uh, uh, reduce weight because we never juggle our food. Okay. So talking about f uh, fasting, um, there are many research shown that uh, fasting, yes, is beneficial in many things. Okay, we don't talk about treatment first. It, uh, it beneficial is, is in many things. There's uh, a lot of mechanism explain why, why. Uh, there, uh, there are also a, a, a study to show that uh, while fasting is beneficial, but after fasting, what you eat is even more important. Yes, correct. Yeah, correct. So, uh, it's, it's the same like you eat healthy now. Okay, 10 days later, what do you eat later? You, you need to continue healthy, same thing. So even you do fast now, okay, after fasting, what do you eat? Okay. So so you want to maintain the effect of the fasting, you still need to eat healthy. And now they have one word called a uh, fasting mimicking diet. Means the diet look like fasting. <laughs> fasting mimicking diet, okay. The fasting mimicking diet is whole food plant-based diet. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> because they, 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 they have shown that uh, our uh, blood test, we do a blood test, we call it insulin growth factor. Okay? Yeah. It's a type of hormone. Uh, this one can uh, can stimulate our cancer growth, all, 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 all these things. Uh. So when you're on fasting, uh, this hormone level will drop. Okay? We drop, we drop very fast. Okay? Uh, 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 when you take whole food plant-based diet, they also drop. They also drop. Uh, because whole food plant based diet basically they are taking lower calorie. They're taking lower calorie. Okay. So similar to the fasting, uh, but not up to the level of the fasting. Okay. So for those who are interested in fasting, okay, go ahead. Okay. But of course, we're not talking about how many days fasting. Okay. But uh, easier, easier way, I think, is you just eat your dinner early. Just eat your dinner early. Okay. And no supper. Okay? I think this is a good, good beginning. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Any further questions? Members of the floor, participants? <coughs> Anyone? Don't be shy. In Malay, they say, Malu bertanya sesat jalan. Ah, you see? 
So <laughs> QQA is is actually one of the most important thing of any. Yes, uh, Miss Sankhya. Uh, good evening, sir. Um, uh, my doubt was like uh, I've been hearing of this uh, do fasting for three to four days. Uh, like some people for that, like they are only on some juice diet uh, for three days. Uh, uh, how far uh, is that uh, good? Or uh, how far does it have its effect? I don't understand the question. I, I know they are doing the three days uh, uh, juice fast. The, the question is? Uh, yeah, I've been he uh, hearing about uh, the juice fast in recent time. So uh, I just wanted to know how uh, effective it is or like. Effective in terms of what? Uh, in terms of uh, having a healthier effect. Uh, now that we've been speaking about fasting and how it helps. So uh, is that helpful too, or is general fasting better than juice fasting? Okay. Now, generally, if you ask me, uh, fasting is okay. Fasting is okay. But uh, there are people always mention that for those fasting who are more than 40 hours, you need to uh, uh, under some supervision or some guidance. Okay, some some guidance. Okay, so uh, there are some health benefit from it. Okay, some people say that it become more alert. Okay, reduce some weight. Okay, even uh, cholesterol all this will reduce. But uh, same question, after the three days fast, what do you eat? Okay, so uh, whatever benefit you 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 get from your fasting, after three days later, you are not eating healthy. You will not get a long term benefit from it. Have I answered your question? Uh, yes, sir. Yes. Thank you. The other thing that I would like to add, if you don't mind, Dr. Dr. Eddie. Uh, yes. You know, whatever lifestyle changes that we are going to do, you know, it comes back to the to the to the agenda of the day. You know, the word is SDG, is sustainable. Even whatever that we eat, you know, it has to be sustainable. If we, let's say for 21 days, we do this, um, you know, whole plant food based thing, you know, and, and we, you know, we tend to, and, and our taste bud has already acclimatized with that. So that, that you know, there is a higher chance that, you know, it, it can be sustainable. That means we can change our lifestyle and adopt yeah. that, you know, as compared to running after meat and fish and whatever, you know, yeah. we can stick to that. But if we do this, you know, like, like overdose of fasting, can you sustain it? Ah, so that's the question that we have to ask. Some people say, oh, you do water fasting for a month. You know, you'll <laughs> definitely lose weight. You know, I've seen that. And people are like, wow, water fasting, water. But now my question is that, okay, after one month, what will happen to you? Are you going to continue for another month or another year? You know, can you can you sustain that that one month of water fasting? You know, so this is, this is the thing, you know, whatever that we're doing, whatever uh, advice that we're giving, it is all based on the sustainability of our actions. Uh, so that's the thing. I hope you don't mind, Dr. Eddie, just to add on. No, I think it's, it's, it, your, your, your definitely is, is very true and correct. Sustainable is, is an issue. Uh, we, we try to make a lifestyle, a healthy lifestyle, become your norm. Yes. So become norm, uh, a norm. But, but create a norm from, a, from ab, ab, abnormal, become a normal, okay? It is a transition, okay? I can imagine if you have a 21 days of exercise program, maybe you will become, have a habit of exercise, same thing, okay? So uh, so things need to be done regularly because part of uh, our healthy lifestyle. Healthy lifestyle is not something like we do today, tomorrow, no need to do, you know? It's become part of our life, you know? Uh, you can call it philosophy of life, you know. So, so, but once you get accustomed to a healthy lifestyle, uh, you will not be regretted. You will see that your quality of life become better. Yes. Yeah. May I know what you all do to celebrate when you're on uh, W? FPB uh, okay. diet. <laughs> uh, if you, uh, if you if you join the, the, the FPB diet, they will can see all kind of recipe is available. Okay, so um, many recipe is delicious. Okay, it's not so bland as we as you think of. Okay, so as mentioned that the food is very similar to the diet they eating, very similar to the diet you're eating. Okay, except they remove the animal product, which is about twenty five percent of the plate. 
But for those who are ho cooking whole food plant-based diet, uh, also depends. Some on and off, on and off, uh, they do eat a little bit of junk food sometimes. Sometimes they want to pamper yourself. Uh. It happened, okay? For example, they eat a potato chips. Oh, okay. Wow, it happened. It happened. Ice okay? cream. Uh, yes, it's happened. It has happened. But I can tell you, for those majority of the lifestyle is already in the whole food plant base, even they take all this food, they don't see problem because this is not your regular diet. Our question is, our question is our population now already regularly taking all kind of animal product and processed food. That's a problem. Right. Mm -hmm. So okay. if a majority of time, uh, just like when you do exercise every day, okay, few days never do exercise, what a big deal. It's okay, no, no problem. No. So sometimes we are go out with my friends, no, for celebration and anything, no. Okay. Uh I I they, they serve the food. Usually I eat uh I, I don't have whole plant based, right? They serve the food, but I eat the veggie part, okay. Sometimes we oily, we oily food also we have, okay. So I take a plant based, okay, with oil, okay. But go back home, I eat the whole food plant based with very less oil or no oil. Okay. So basically, uh, you, you you can you can you can do it, okay. But uh, don't think of uh, what to do if you are celebration because, uh, but I uh, uh Mr. Ong, I, I I admire you a lot, lah, because because I don't <laughs> have celebration every day. <laughs> 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 Unfortunately, I don't know. <laughs> uh, um, much to celebrate every day. My my life is regular routine. Okay, uh, but but on off you have celebration. Go ahead, no, enjoy yourself. No, it's fine. Okay. We celebrate life. Uh, we celebrate yeah, life. <laughs> healthy, we celebrate because life. when you're retired as a retiree, you know, your lifestyle is actually many reunions with friends, and so you end up eating. Mm. That's the problem. That, that that's a that's a good chance, uh, you, you try to influence people rather than yeah, they influence you. Right. Yeah, so right. yeah. We gotta right. make a change somewhere. Yes, yeah. rather than yeah. following them, mm. you might as well show them uh. that, that you know there's a better path to you know, uh, yes, I agree. And, and sometimes is we, we cannot we can blame your friend because actually many people have chronic problem looking for solution, but they don't know what to do. Yeah, uh, sometimes you hear them sharing about what medications they take and how much. My God. <laughs> uh, yes, because they're, 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 they're so looking for solutions. So now we have to start uh, finding out which are restaurants that serve, uh, you know, vegan food or some, uh, yeah, cafes okay. or restaurants. Mm. You, 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 you snap the pictures on the link. You, you, you just register through a link that will contact you. Uh, okay. Mm. Right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Miss Wong. Uh, sorry. Uh, yeah. Sorry. No, uh, no need to apologize. Please feel free. <laughs> uh, I just, I just want to, I just want to remind that the link, the QR code that Dr. Eddie showed just now have have some problem. So just now I copy paste the Google form link in the chat chat room already. I see. Okay. So yes, yeah. Uh, yeah. everyone, there's a Google form in the link so for those of you who are interested uh, to join the healthier me 21 day challenge you know it starts on the 15th of october right 13th of october 13th of october uh, okay. uh, i yeah. think don't follow my link anymore the link is not working follow the new link the link is in the chat box right link. Chat box, yeah uh. so, so i'm going to sign up so let's do it together <laughs> let's uh, yes <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so I'm okay because I, I mean I'm okay with vegan food, veg, you know, whole whole uh, plant food, you know. So mm. uh, you have to thank my my ma'am in the house, you know. So mm. she, <laughs> she must be very happy. Uh, yeah, I mean she's okay now because I'm following whatever she does, you know. I don't complain. Mm. <laughs> so yes. So I hope you know you know all of us can do that. You know we we you know we. Uh, we fulfill the you know requirements and support the sustainable development goals, which is goal number three, goal number twelve, goal number thirteen, goal number fourteen, and goal number fifteen by adopting a new lifestyle. That means a to a plant base, you know. So five SDGs at one time, and this is something that uh, we you know have to do. We start here, and eventually it'll grow. There has to be a start somewhere. So if there are no other further questions, uh, 
I I think we you know we will end the talk today and hopefully Dr. Eddie keep in touch with us. You know I'll come and visit you soon and uh, you know we'll we'll invite you uh, you know for for the next talk session um, maybe end of the year or maybe early next year. So we keep it we keep it a regular thing and and University of Cyberjaya. Uh, 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 very excited in partnering with Zuchi Foundation. You know, we have uh, our SDG committee, especially, you know, led by Dr. Reshmi. Thank you, Dr. Reshmi. Yeah, uh, Celine, Celine I, please, sorry. Yeah, yeah, I, I want to ask you, without joining the 21-day challenge, uh, because of timing itself for me, uh, is there any way we can still uh, have access to the recipe so that we can... Uh, learn to cook, assuming that yes. the ingredients are not so complex and Correct. the way to cook is also not difficult uh, to encourage uh, yes. maybe budding, budding, uh, budding uh, cooker who wants to give it a try. Because yeah, right. uh, yeah. most of the time when I cook, uh, most of the time when I cook, my husband always say it's tasteless. <laughs> or I bring him to eat in an uh, organic vegetarian uh, 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 shop. He 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 does it to entertain me more than more than uh, uh, looking forward to a delicious yummy yeah. meal. His yeah. his perspective of a yummy meal is very different from mine. So he normally accompany me to entertain me. So I'm hoping that there is some for, uh, some opportunity for me to learn. Uh, simple cooking that I can do at home uh, and it's not difficult because I am not I, I don't normally cook uh, my aunt does the cooking so I'm just asking without joining the challenge can we still have access to the recipe to 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 learn well, okay so, Celine I, where, where, how do you know about this uh, this uh, full call discussion eh? uh, I got it from uh, two of my chat group uh, oh, okay. One is a gardening chat group and one is a uh, Ken's uh, Ken Survive uh, chat group. You see the baby agriculture. <laughs> okay, Serene, so uh, whether you order from restaurant or you want to learn the recipe or cook in a simple way, okay, you still can register because the challenge actually got two options for you. One is to order from restaurant to deliver food to you. One is self-cooking. So if you if you're interested to learn to uh whole food, learn to how to cook whole food plant based diet with some recipe, you just register. Okay, there's an option for you to choose one. Oh, all right, great, 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 mm. great. Uh, 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 thank so you for the uh, because we believe uh, yeah because we believe when you learn to cook yourself in these twenty one days, you are already taking a challenge. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, even though I may not do it every day, but at least when opportunity mm. arises out of yes. Uh, yes. out of uh, four, four, four days out of seven, mm. then mm. Uh, and if the mm. recipe is quite yeah. uh, simple and not yeah. too many ingredients, yeah. then yeah. Uh, it is easy to mm. uh, to to attempt. Yeah, just register. Thank you, mm. Thank you doctor. Yes. So, uh, ma'am, Celine. You know, we will be having uh, talks every month, you know, organized by the university. Feel free to join us. Actually, how, how Serene will continue to know your, your, your yeah, activity? Right. Uh, uh, can you give us a Facebook link? Is there a Facebook link, uh, uh, Dr. Hashan? Sure, hold on. Uh, we, of course, we have. Uh, Dr. Rashmi, we can add, we, uh, we can add you to the database. Uh, we uh -huh. will send the email or uh you know whatsapp okay uh, could, yeah. could could all of you like write your emails uh in the uh, chat box so that we can we can send whatever you know whatever events that we have in the university right so not just not just uh, this topic so we have so many other topics that we would like to share it with the community you know feel free to join us we won't charge anything of course we just uh, we will just uh, require a little bit of your time to just come and join us. It'll be very nice. So feel free to to share your your uh, email addresses or phone number, whichever uh, your preference. In the chat.
So any other questions? I always like questions when I teach. You know, in, in my lecture, you know, I always ask my students, like, please ask me something. At least I know I'm doing it right. You know, <laughs> they're asking. At least they know what I spoke, you know. So it's good to have questions, you know. So that means someone is listening. <laughs> uh. Okay. Ah, yes. There you go. The people who are messaging. Plan based Instagram. Oh, yeah, that's that's for the. The, the the Instagram is for for the program, right, Doctor Eddie? Uh, Z, is, uh, Z, no, yeah. the the Instagram actually is uh is 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 a group for you to receive uh all kind of information and update. I okay. see, I see. Uh, okay, it's there, not, there'll it's, be group. Uh, yeah, there'll be group. Yeah. Yep. And and there are two ways of joining. One, you mm. participate in the challenge mm. twenty one days, yeah. and the other one. Yeah. You can join, uh, you yep. know, to get the recipes and yep. all, right? Yeah. For those who have participated, actually, uh, you will have a link to join another group. This group is for all the past participants. The thousand old participants, they gather together. You know, they can get okay. all support. Anything question you want to ask, anything you don't want to buy, you don't know where to buy, you can ask. You know, uh, it will yeah, be easier. Yeah. Uh. Oh, so basically, you have an alumni group. Uh, alumni <laughs> group, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Same like the MMA, you know, medical uh, association, uh, right? So you have. Past president, elect president, don't know what president. You know, sometimes I get confused and they change every two years. You know, now it's Coca Chai. Uh, yes. You know, uh, Coca Chai is leaving. Somebody else is coming. I don't know who. You know, so oh. I, I believe they have this past president's WhatsApp group, I believe. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> So if there's nothing else, um, I would like to seek your permission to end the talk session today. Uh, you know, our sincere gratitude goes to uh, Dr. Eddie Chan and the team, uh, Zuchi Medical and Zuchi Foundation. You know, you have been uh, very supportive of University of Cyberjaya. And University of Cyberjaya, would, you know, have we, ha we are trying our level best. Uh, you know, to support the sustainable development goals, you know, and thank you to Dr. Reshmi. Dr. Reshmi, your, your hard work and dedication, you know, has, uh, in, you know, it's an inspiration to all of us, you know, so um, till we meet again for the next uh, session and for all of you who have attended, uh, you're most welcome to join us for our upcoming session, you know, stay in touch with us and, uh, you know, and, and we wish you a good, healthy and long life take care thank you thank you thank you bye thank you thank you thank you bye thank you